Hey guys, it's Happy Rider here. Today we have the all new 2017 BMW 7 Series 750i. The color we're looking at is known as Black Sapphire Metallic. And as you may already know, last year BMW came out with a completely new and redesigned 7 Series, which is the same one we're looking at here. However, this is the 2017 year model. Right away, you'll notice the redesign on the side, which looked like a hockey stick there. And as you move around, it is totally and completely redesigned interior and exterior. And when it comes to the inside, the BMW 7 Series is the first vehicle ever with the uh, BMW Series to have a fully touch screen. And in addition to that, it also has the newly adopted uh, gesture control in which you can just simply use your fingers to control the audio volume, turn the uh, audio on or off, and it is a pretty, pretty excited and uh, cool feature to have. So here's the key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. You can also press the button uh, on the uh, side here to release the manual key. And you can also get the extra additional key fob with all the touchscreen for additional money, of course. Now, the 7 Series, of course, come with the uh, Smart Keyless Access Entry. So all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle. And to lock, simply touch right there. Here's a quick view of the interior. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the engine start button right here. With the 7 Series 740i, it features the 3 liter twin power turbo 6 cylinder engine with variable valve control and high precision direct injection. Now this engine pushes out 320 horsepower and 330 pound foot of torque and it is an 8 speed sport automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode with steering wheel mounted power shifter and launch control. Now the 750i does feature the bigger engine. The model here, which is the 2017 740i, can hit from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.4 seconds, which is not bad. That's one second slower compared to the 750i, and its top speed is 130 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, it gets 21 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined. Now gas mileage will really varies and differs depending on how you drive the vehicle and which driving mode you're in. Up front you have the automatic intermittent rain sensing windshield wiper with adjustable speed along with the shadow line exterior trim on top. In the center we have the uh, iconic BMW double kidney grill with black trim. Looks extremely aggressive and nice. Here's the front view camera as part of the driver assisted plus package. The BMW Icon LED headlights give the 7 Series its unmistakable appearance with the new 3-dimensional semi-headlight rings to the LED fog light, LED daytime running lights, and automatic high beam and cornering light. The new 7 Series phase is really unique. Here's a quicker view here. Looks extremely aggressive as you can see even without the competition package. Quick look at the fog light there. Moving over the side, we have the uh, corner reflector light. Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light. Power adjustable feature including power folding, auto dimming, and heated function. And again, as part of the driver assisted package, there's also a camera below both side view mirror, which give you a complete 360 degree views of your surrounding. 
This specific model features the standard 19 inch light alloy wheels with run flat tires. Run flat tires allow you to travel up to an additional 100 miles after a tire uh, puncture. Behind the wheels we have the 4 wheel ventilated disc brakes with anti-lock braking system, composite front rotor dynamic stability control, brake fake compensation, brake drying, and brake standby with dynamic traction control. And the side stripe design is really unique and overall is a very nice design. Moving to the back we have the middle LED brake light located behind the rear windshield. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when you put the car into reverse. Parking assist is also built into the uh, rear bumper. On both sides are the newly redesigned and eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. Again, very nicely designed. Here's a quick look at the camera. At the bottom, there's the attractive rear diffuser and the chrome exhaust tip. And you also have the 740i batch there. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And of course, you have to use premium unleaded gasoline. Here's a complete view of the top. This one does feature the uh, tilt and slide sunroof. And it does extend all the way back to the rear seat which looks really nice when inside. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open and as you can see as it slides open it raises upward similar to the Mercedes Benz however the Mercedes Benz hugs the body much more than the BMW here so it just come to a personal preference as to what you like now let's see what we have inside the trunk It's a 7 series, so there's plenty of space in the trunk. You can also use the uh, wireless function by standing about a foot away from the trunk and wave your foot below the core and it will automatically open. There's the emergency trunk release. First aid kit on this side. User manual. There's a hook same goes on that side and let's see what we have down here there we have your battery trunk lighting and that's just a tag showing you the uh, wireless trunk hand free open option and that's where you put your emergency triangle you can also lock the car door for back here by pressing that button and this is to close the trunk Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Now I forgot to mention it does feature the soft closing door feature. Lock and unlock button, four power window control. We also have the power sunshade cover control, side view mirror control, side door compartment. Here we have two memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. There's your trunk release switch. BMW door sealed with light, braking gas pedal, hood release lever, simply pull out twice to open, and power front seat control with lumbar support. Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Seat belt height is not adjustable. The lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Now as you can see there's no screen or tablet in the back that does require additional packages. Same style design as the front door. 
cigarette ashtray, power window control, power sunshade cover control. As you can see there, you can show the rear sunshade cover or the side sunshade cover. Also the top. Looks really nice when both of the top are open. Side door compartment, BMW door sealed. Now again, I am five foot seven, weighing about 150 pounds, so this will give you a better idea how much leg space you have. I have plenty of leg space, feel very comfortable. Here's a quick look of the luxurious front. Two additional air vent in the rear with full climate control. Storage compartment there. And here we have two additional 12 volt core charge outlet. Middle portion is raised and split. Back seat storage. In the middle, we have additional uh, storage compartment and two cup holders on the end here. Plenty of storage space back here. The back seat does have the latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat if you need to. On top, we have uh, two huge mirrors, one on each side with light. This really comes in handy when you uh, have female uh, passengers in the back. They can use this for makeup. Hand bar with a spot for you to hang your clothes. Lighting control. Forgot to show you the side door lighting here. Looks extremely, extremely luxurious as you can see. And the same goes on the other side. And here we are back in the driver's seat. We have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Looks and feel extremely luxurious. Over here we have your different cruise control. BMW logo in the middle with the horn. Voice command, Bluetooth phone answering option and audio modes control. Gear shift paddle on each side. Windshield wiper control. Headlamps control. Telescopic steering wheel control, driver air vent, headlamps control, storage compartment, driver sun visor with a clip on the side for paper or credit cord. You can also move the entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage. Handball on top very nice moving over to the middle we have the fully and first ever touchscreen display navigation system ever made in a BMW and it is extremely touch sensitive as you can see demonstrated here you can also zoom in and out on the map by using two finger like the pinch just like the iPhone Two air vent with the hazard light control in the middle. Wood dashboard, engine start stop button, and the automatic start function there. Now the temperature control right here are touch sensitive, so you kind of just have to glide your fingers across and it will change temperature. That's where you insert your CD. Audio volume control. Press down to turn it off or mute. Now with the gesture control here, you can just point the two finger and twirl your finger like this to control the volume up or down, or point two finger again to uh, turn the gesture control off. And as you can see, it is pretty accurate. Temperature display control, again it is touch screen. Here you have two cup holders in between, then the 12 volt core charge outlet, USB input, a removable ashtray, and as for the shift box, push the button on the side, move up for reverse. When you do so, the complete 360 degree views of the car is shown here. 
with guided lines in the rear which also move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Side view mirror will also tilt down giving you better view of the rear. D for drive, push over to left for manual mode and then push up or down to change gears or use the gear shift paddles. P for park. On the left we have your traction control, different driving modes, sport, comfort, eco, and you'll notice each different driving mode you'll have a different display here. Next we have your parking assist control, camera view control, and your suspension control. Power parking brake, BMW I control, multi-direction no, and simply press down to select different uh, display setting here here's the map view main menu radio view and telephone there middle armrest compartment and there you have a USB input along with a 12 volt core charge outlet I also have a slot to hold your phone there glove box compartment Plenty of room. Now for a complete view of the dash. Head up display is a standard. On top we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener. You can simply use these button after inputting the coast to open and close your garage doors. 7 series style lighting. It's blinking due to my camera. Reality does not blink at all and looks very nice and luxurious. Looks really nice when you open both the front and the rear. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, if you have any questions or requests for core reviews, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more future core reviews. And remember to check out my official Facebook page, my vlog channel. And thanks again, I'll see everyone in the next video review.